In this video, we're going to show you how to charge a battery using the Century CC1206 battery charger and maintainer to safely charge your lead acid batteries. The CC1206 is a 12 volt, 6 amp, 9 stage charger and maintainer. It has selectable charge rates, 1 amp, 3 amp and 6 amp, which gives you the versatility to charge a wide range of different battery capacities. It can charge batteries from 3 to 120 amp hour and maintain batteries up to 180 amp hour. These settings should be used for the following battery types. SMF calcium batteries use the calcium SMF. Maintainable flooded batteries use AGM flooded EFB. AGM and EFB batteries use AGM flooded EFB. Gel batteries use gel. It's important to select the correct battery type for safety and to maximize the service life of the battery. Before we begin to charge the battery, some safety first. Wear the appropriate personal protection gear, including glasses, gloves, and ensure you don't wear any jewellery that's likely to short against terminals. If you're charging the battery in the vehicle, ensure the vehicle is parked in a well-ventilated area with the park brake applied and the ignition should be switched off. If charging the battery out of the vehicle, ensure that there's adequate ventilation and it's free of any ignition sources. If you're unsure of what charge rate to use, refer to the battery types and capacity section in the owner's manual. Always refer to the manufacturer's recommendations. In the absence of this, you can charge a flooded lead acid battery to 10% of its amp hour capacity and AGM and gel types to 20% of their amp hour capacity. Once we've done this, we can go through the process of connecting the charger to the battery. Before we connect the charger, let's look at some of the pre-checks on the battery and the charger. These should include checking the electrolyte levels of a battery that's maintainable and the charge level indicator on top of the battery if it's maintenance free. Looking for external damage to the battery, leakage and case distortion. For the charger, look for damage to the charger and or its leads. Check that the mains power is turned off to the charger before connecting to the battery. Connect the charger leads. The red is the positive to the positive and black is the negative to negative. With the clamps connected, we can turn on the charger. Once the power is turned on, the charger will automatically start. Once activated, we need to select the correct battery type and charge rate for the battery within five minutes of charging. In this example, we are charging a sealed maintenance-free calcium flooded battery. Press the select button until the SMF calcium LED is illuminated. The next step is to set the charge rate. In this case, we're going to select the 6 amp. Once selected, the charger will go through its nine-stage charging process, then once complete, we'll switch to maintenance mode and will illuminate the full LED indicator. Once charged, turn off the charger from the mains power. Once the power has been disconnected, you can now remove the clamps from the terminals, the black followed by the red. For more information on the Century Battery Charger range, visit centurybatteries.com.au.